do. We have tradition. Yeah, you know, just another new year, a new season. I think uh, when you go into any new year, uh, it's a, a different team and, and they're going to make their own history. I think that we have a really great team and I'm really excited to see um, what the season has to bring. How are you guys? You want some Brenda's peanut butter freeze? There you go, Brenda's peanut butter freeze. Oh, I think you're going to want a big scoop. Uh, we're at the Maryland Dairy today, a special day we're unveiling uh, special ice cream Brenda's peanut butter freeze. It's chocolate, it's peanut butter, and like the combination is just fantastic. It's my favorite combination, I love those two. It's great, it's going to make me fun faster. I'll make sure all the track kids come over here so they can get some. Thank you so much. So welcome. Well, I'm really, really grateful. It's been a fun day being able to introduce it and, and uh, roll it out to all the students here at Maryland. It's nice because the, the team is doing so wonderfully. How, how could you not want to promote that? But you know, definitely, I, I'm prepared to have it ready for basketball. Make sure you put lotion on the top of your feet. Not want to burn the top of your feet. For, uh, you know, some of our girls, you know, they really had to go outside their comfort level, you know, not being able to swim, to be able to put themselves in the water, and, you know, just to be able to see them, you know, swimming with the turtles, you know, to have that experience snorkeling. Uh, as for many of them, it was their, their first time, and it was a phenomenal experience. The pool party that we had at the Virgin Islands was awesome. That's the thing that I love about our team is like, we know when to be serious, you know, on the court and stuff, but then we also know how to have fun too. We had to go between, there was a lady on stilts and she kept like go opening her leg like that and we would like crawl under and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that was fun. And then also there were these ladies dancing and they were like eating fire. It was, they loved the fire. They were eating it, they were, uh, limboing under sticks of fire, they were juggling fire. Making memories, I know at the beginning of the year Coach B talked about um, let's see how many memories we can make this year and this will definitely be one of my favorite memories. It's amazing, these away trips, especially because we're away from our families, it just doesn't get any better than that. You're with your extended family in paradise. So trips like these are just, you know, amazing and it's definitely something that, you know, I'm going to remember and cherish for the rest of my life. <laughs> This is Q1 and Q2. Q2 <laughs> to the same. Q2 yep. girls in New York City. In New York City. <laughs> um, New York was really awesome. Um, going to the show we went to was really cool. It was awesome to see the Rockettes and um, the performance that they had. And I love Christmas time and Christmas Carol, so that was really fun for me, especially. Who am I wearing? New York City rat. I'm wearing a Shatori official. <laughs> well, I'm going to say she's sorry. <laughs> she's sorry. Wow. Oh, look at the horse. He's so cute. Can I put his nose? Pet him on his face. He'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's pretty hectic city, but it's pretty friendly out here. So it's nice to, to come out here and be able to talk to people and to be able to have some conversations and just be. I mean, kind of be just not be a basketball player, just be a normal person for a day. UConn is the home team technically here inside the garden, so they are in the home whites. As winter has finally arrived in the Northeast, we understand it is sleeting outside. It's so freaking cool. Hi. I can't believe it. How are you? The Knicks play here, and Carmelo, he was like one of my all-time favorite players, and one of the reasons why I just started wearing 15, him and Vince Carter, so it's cool to be playing where he plays. Shut up! Yes! Confroy knocks down the three-pointer. Let's go! Let's go! Back for Confroy, another three. Got it! And just like that, it's tied at 40. He 
you really do get the impression Maryland came here to New York believing they could win the game, not just hang in there. Because in the pregame, Rebecca was talking about could Brianna Jones handle Stewart and Tuck defensively? And then at the half said, boy, maybe they, the question was better stated, could they handle Jones when they were on defense? Four minutes, four minutes, all right? They don't want any business of a close game. When's the last time that they've had a close game? They haven't, they haven't. So you gotta understand when you have this game into two possessions, they are going to fold. They have not had this kind of pressure. We have. We have, so you got to understand, you keep trusting, you keep believing, we take great shots. Confrey from the corner will bury a three-pointer. With straight isolation. Walker Kimbrough with a three-pointer. The swing for Confrey, her three, got it! Really good possession by Maryland. Confrey's been a star here tonight. Yeah, she's been terrific. She and Conroy. Maryland giving it a terrific effort here to the first time all season. Anyone had led UConn in the second half. And at the buzzer, that one won't go for Walker Kimbrough. UConn stays perfect. They had a real battle on their hands tonight. I tell you, if there's a good loss, no coach likes to lose. But if you're Brenda Freeze, there's a lot to take from this basketball game. The team was competitive. They were able to answer runs. They kept a high scoring UConn team to 83 points. But it, it, it took some work to get there. We shot a better percentage from the field from them, 47%, 48%, okay? Three point shooting, I mean, when, when they hit eight threes, 38% from the three point line. They only hit six. No, do you understand this season? Nobody has, nobody has given them a game for 40 minutes. Usually they play for like 10 minutes and the game's over. 40 minutes you gave them a game. So understand if that doesn't fire you up in terms of what's ahead for us, but we have to continue to play at that level. Hey! You know, it's uh, really, you know, like two worlds uh, colliding, uh, coming together, and pretty surreal, you know, as you get older, you know, to be able to take, you know, your own family, your Maryland family, and then to be able to take them back to your roots. Uh, I think it just gives depth uh, to your team, to your players, to all the people involved in terms of uh, what it was like for, for me growing up and, uh, you know, why I am who I am. This is a classic right here. Coach B is smooth with the Jerry curls. Right, what happened to the curls? Yeah, yeah, um, my mom gave me curls for like all the way to college and then... Bring those back. No, no, no. <laughs> Man, it's like I'm playing with one person. What's going on? <laughs> I'm like Venus and Serena of King Kong. <laughs> For real. I I can't play ping pong. That's like a finesse sport. I'm too strong. I like to use my muscles. And you have to have elegance and grace. No. I just if we had a dance off in elegance and grace, I would win. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. I'm just more graceful. No, you're not. I'm a little clumsy, but I'm more graceful. No, she's not more graceful than I am. You have just tuned into the first episode of Key and A. Stay tuned. It's great. We love all the girls. They are part of the family, and we consider them part of our family like the rest of our children and grandchildren that are here today. In case you, I haven't met some of you, uh, I was Brenda's high school coach. I found some video and uh, in this, the first part of it is uh, kind of a highlight. We won the state championship for senior year, first one for the school. And uh, she only had 35 points and 13 rebounds. I mean, we gotta get to the hotel, don't you think? We good. I don't mind it. We gave it everything. I think the second half proved to be the best game that we've ever played because we wanted it so much. Uh, you know, just a, a, a fun environment, and uh, I'm sure some of the some of those videos will, will be uh, used against me at some point. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're all right. That cake was the welcome. Thank you. Yeah, that cake was very good. That's supposed to give you energy for tomorrow. Team Impact is a program that matches 
children with chronic illnesses and disabilities with college athletic teams. So they do it throughout the country. Um, it is, is a really big honor to be a part of this. So our newest Terp today is Ashlyn Barrett and her family, Jen and Justin and Mackenzie. And we're just excited to finally get have her sign. So Ashlyn, are you ready to sign? All right, sign your On uh, behalf of our team, we are really, really excited to be ha to have you as a member of our team and our program, and we get to welcome in your special family, right? And uh, you know, it's an honor. We want to be able to give you a, a jersey. And it's going to give you a lot of room to grow into, okay? so you'll be able to wear it for a long, long. Ooh, that looks pretty. My name's Jennifer Barrett, and uh, we got involved with Team Impact. Actually, Ashlyn uh, was nominated by the hospital um, that she was going to, Anne Arundel Medical Center, and they thought she was a good candidate, so they teamed us up with them. Oh my God, the girls have embraced her. Um, it's 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 overwhelming. I mean, it's just overwhelming. Um, this is giving her that chance to uh, to feel like she's part of something and to belong to a team um, it's it's something that I don't know if she'll ever get to experience but to have that now um, when she needs it most is is amazing happy birthday to you what is it more than I could hope for. It makes me really proud to, first and foremost, to be able to see Ashlyn and just the pure joy and happiness that this birthday party with the team and what it means. And, you know, to be able to see for our players, you know, just uh, giving back and that it's truly real. You know, they're celebrating with Ashlyn and they're, they're so excited for her. And just, uh, they understand what role models they are, but uh, it's really special to be able to see. Bear the turtle. Bear the turtle. Bear the turtle. Hey, at the start of this one, it's Tori Walker Kimbrough, eight, Purdue, four. It was our game against Purdue. It was a really good time. And I don't know if Shatori told you, told everyone, but I was yelling at her a lot that game. But um, it, I guess it seemed to work because she knocked down nearly every shot. And it's just really cool to see. And in the first five minutes, she is literally beating Purdue all by herself. I, like I said before, I wanted to come in and uh, bring energy. Um, I wanted to bring a spark, whether that was scoring, rebounding, or defense. It happened to be scoring, so yeah, that's what I took. Walker Kimbrough is step back. <laughs> she shows it. This is her night. Coach was like, play call, play call. And I said, I said, get the ball to Tori. That's the play call. <laughs> it is very likely she could get a career high in the first half. Her career high is 26. She's at 22. Seems like kind of like riding the Husky kind of sled kind of guy. Shatori Walker Kimbrough has a 40 spot. That right there was the heat check. A special night, a career night for Shatori Walker Kimbrough. What a thing of beauty that was to watch. A career high 41 this evening. You know, I think the, the most exciting part of it was it was just so seamless. It was almost a quiet 41 points. It was big time. It was vintage. I turned from a coach into a fan. So I was just super proud of it because you talk about the epitome of, of hard work and wanting to be the best. It's, it's Walker Kimbrough all day long. So I was extremely proud of him and happy for it at the same time. When you have a 40 spot, guess what? You get carried off the floor and it's well deserved. Carry her off, the Terps. Um, my major is kinesiology. I'm majoring in neurobiology and physiology. Um, well, my major is kinesiology. I think I decided I wanted to pursue a science major and uh, go into pre-med when I was younger. Uh, I always tell my mom I wanted to be a doctor. I never really knew growing up what I wanted to do. I knew I loved sports and I wanted to be involved in sports. It wasn't until probably high school, my sophomore or junior year, when I decided that pre-med or medical school would be something that really interested me. Uh, especially seeing all my friends go through torn ACLs, torn labrums, all the major injuries that are so 
devastating to athletes and I thought, wow, it would be so cool to be able to help help give back to the athletic community. I always knew I wanted to be in a profession where I'm helping people and around people, so I think that that's what's really drawn me to the medical field. I normally, I wake up around eight or nine, depending on what class I have that day, and then I go to class. So then we have practice, I try to get some shots up after practice. Do our lift, have correctives, whatever the basketball side of things entails for that day. Then go back and do a lot of homework, and then go to sleep. Coach B was very straightforward early on in promoting me to pursue whatever I wanted. And that was something that really jumped out to me about Maryland and what I loved about their program is that it wasn't just about you as a basketball player, it was about you as a person, you pursuing your passions and setting yourself up for a successful life beyond basketball. I don't know exactly if I'm gonna go right to med school, um, if I'm gonna try to pursue more basketball, um, what exactly is gonna occur, but um, I'm just really trying to focus right now on this next month, um, enjoying um, the team and this atmosphere because it's never going to be like this again. You're never going to get to be a part of a, um, a Final Four team again. You're never going to be able to be able to be on a college basketball team, a part of such an amazing program and experience and with all these people. So just trying to cherish my teammates and the time that I have left um, a part of the Maryland program. I mean, I, you know, this, this one's special. Like this one, I'm going to remember for a, for a long time. And I mean, man, you, you couldn't have scripted it any better for our seniors to, to be able to send them out. Man, a great inbound pass. Walker Kimbrough to Furman and the foul. As soon as they get a peek at an open shot. It's been a big first quarter for Jenny Furman. Here's Mosley looking for something in transition. <laughs> That play is called, it's senior night, so whatever I decide to do is going to go. Pavlik for three, and she knocks it down on senior day. This one-handed rebound for Howard. I think it's awesome when you have great teammates who play for your seniors, and I know that we've put in a lot of work, so it's just really special. Be here without her. She hit another one, Bob. A career-high 23 points. Um, I said it in my pregame speech, I mean, in terms of what each and every one of them had been through. Just incredible to be able to witness kind of the tyranny of old. This is what a healthy tyranny looks like. And uh, the way she shot the ball, the confidence she had, uh, the rebounding, I mean, career highs in both. But just, uh, you know, I mean, what a performance and what a memory she's going to have in, in her senior year. This tyranny Furman continues on its hair for Maryland. What a senior day it's been for her. Um, again, it just goes back to uh, why they've won so much in their college careers, and um, there was no doubt in the statement that they were going to make tonight. And to be able to see all five seniors score, uh, the, the energy that they had, what this team played for, uh, showed you a lot in terms of uh, what we were able to do. On behalf of the Commissioner Jim Delaney, it is my honor to present the Big Ten regular season trophy to the Maryland women's basketball team for the second year in a row. I just want to say, first of all, we are honored, um, obviously, in the Big Ten, a tremendous uh, conference, and for us to be able to do it back-to-back -back years, um, just so proud of, of the consistency and of this group right here. Go Turks, Big Ten champions! Go. you need to do differently tonight to be standing on that podium hoisting that trophy nothing we don't have to do anything different tonight is all about us playing to our Maryland legacy we've had over 30 plus games all right we've had over 30 plus games to understand and know what it looks like tonight all right every single time you shoot the basketball every single time you shoot the basketball you know it's going in that basket out there is going to look like an ocean. It's going to feel like an ocean when you shoot the basketball. It's guys, you got to lock in, all right? You got to lock in with 40 great minutes of effort and energy. 40 great minutes of effort and energy, and you go out and show them what Maryland basketball is all about. Turn it over, 
Mosley back to Furman. Finishes it off. The depth, the balance, the sacrifice of this team. Nobody cares who gets the credit. They just go out and day in and day out do their work and put themselves in positions to win. Well, time for just puts the exclamation point on it. And once again, the Maryland Terrapins, the Big Ten Tournament Champions. quick all right yeah. you know that's never easy right what we just did that's never easy all right you never take that for granted and again what I love about it it took a team to win this game today it took a team to win this game tonight and that's why you guys continue to win you know you continue to understand what it takes to be a team all right and and you stayed the course and that's why you're champions it's easy to do it one time but do it back to back is hard these girls have sacrificed a lot you know, I, I can't, I know especially our senior class, but we've just put a lot aside to be able to look about, think about the team in the bigger picture. And, you know, it's just fun for me to just watch, to be a part of it and to see my teammates enjoy it. So I'm just glad, thank you, are able to experience it with us and just be able to experience it as all together. Just we have a special group.